Well, good morning, Beaver Dam. It is Pastor Owen coming to you live from Beaver Dam and Rousey's Chapel. And I am glad that you're joining us for our time of reflections. This is a time where we gather Monday through Thursday to read some scripture together, to spend some time in prayer, and then to hear some reflections of mine on the text. Um, if you happen to be joining us live or throughout the day, I invite you to hit the, the like and share key and drop us a line in the comment box. Let us know that you're out there uh, listening. <coughs> so we, uh, for this season of Advent, have been using the Gospel of Luke as our way of, uh, our for our time together, and we've been taking a chapter a day, and today we're, since it's the 21st, we're at the 21st chapter of Luke, and by, uh, by Christmas Day, we will have read all 25 chapters of Luke, and it would have covered the entire story of Jesus' life. So I hope you're following along in our readings and taking time out during the day to read the full chapter. But before we delve into the scripture, um, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's do our, our breath prayer. This morning we'll be breathing in God's love and breathing out our love back to God. So let's go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Breathe in God's love and breathe out our love back to God. Breathe in God's love. Breathe out our love back to God. Breathe in God's love. Breathe out our love back to God. Breathe in God's love. Breathe out our love back to God. Breathe in God's love. Breathe out our love back to God. Breathe in God's love, breathe out our love back to God. One more time, breathe in God's love and breathe out our love to God. Amen, amen. Well, good morning, Martha, glad to see you're joining us. <clears throat> so today we are in Luke 21 and today we'll be focusing on verses 10 through 19. Uh, hear these words from the gospel writer and I'm reading from the common English translation this morning. Then Jesus said to them, nations and kingdoms will fight against each other. There will be great earthquakes and wide scale food shortages and epidemics. There will also be terrifying sights and great signs in the sky. But before, before all this occurs, they will take you into custody, custody and harass you because of your faith. 
They will hand you over to the synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before kings and governors because of my name. This will provide you with an opportunity to testify. Make up your minds not to prepare your defense in advance. I'll give you words and wisdom that none of your opponents will be able to counter or counteract or, con or <coughs> contradict. <coughs> you will be betrayed by your parents, brothers and sisters, relatives and friends. They will execute some of you. Everyone will hate you because of my name. Still, not a hair on your heads will be lost. By holding fast, you will gain your lives. So that is our words for today, for sure. And we've been using um, our Wesley Study Bible for notes, and we've got, we've got several here. <coughs> the notes here for chapter 2. Ironically, Jesus warns people not to give heed to those who say it's time. And yet, in every generation, misguided date setters who claim to sense the approach of these events never fail to get a hearing. These events occurred in antiquity. Wars and rebellions refers to the events surrounding the Jewish revolts in 66 and 69 CE, which was brutally crushed by the Roman general and later emperor Vespian and his son Titus. No doubt many people believed that this war, which brought the destruction of Jerusalem, would, end, would, end, would lead to the return of Christ. But Jesus, Jesus' words separate his return from the war. Jesus also warns that even before the destruction of Jerusalem, his disciples will, will suffer arrest and persecution. This prediction is fulfilled by the persecutions in the decades between Jesus' resurrection and the destruction of Jerusalem particularly the great persecution under Nero. The Apostle Paul, among others, used this impris uh, imprisonment as an opportunity for witness. The promise that not a hair on your heads will be lost, in verse 18, is a promise rooted in the sure and, sure and certain hope of the resurrection, not a promise for physical safety in this world. <laughs> you know, there's some, some some pretty good notes there this morning. You know, looking at this chapter as a whole, there's a lot of doom and gloom uh, in this chapter, in talking about the temples, the 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 uh, in Jerusalem's fate, and how it's going to be destroyed, and how we're going to be hated just because of our faith in Jesus. How we'll be betrayed by our parents, brothers and sisters, relatives and friends. But there's also a lot of hope here in the scripture as well. And that's what I'm drawn to this morning. Especially the thought that we will be given the opportunity to testify. And we shouldn't worry about what we're going to say. Because Jesus is going to give us the words to speak. You know, I find comfort in this idea because I've seen it firsthand. There have been times when I've been talking to someone about God, about faith, and, and that type of thing, and I've been amazed by the words that have come out of my mouth. I've wondered where they came from. I wonder how I remembered all of that stuff. And I wonder if any of you have had that same type experience. So I figure that if I've had these experiences on a small scale, I wonder what words of wisdom that the Spirit would fill us with if we were really under pressure to testify about our faith. I guess we may have to wait and find out. Huh. Just some thoughts of mine on this uh, on this text. 
on this shortest day of the year since this is the winter equinox. So uh, day and night are kind of equal today and uh, we'll just see where this day takes us. So before we do take on the day, let's, let's close with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you. We thank you for the beautiful day that you've given us. We thank you for all of the opportunities that it gives us to, uh, to, to grow closer in our faith to you. And Lord, we just thank you for this time together where we can share over the internet some words of wisdom. And God, we're just so thankful that you fill us with your spirit and that you give us the words to speak, words that are uplifting, words that tell of your love, words that tell of your actions in the world. God, we just ask that you continually be with those who are uh, not feeling well today, who might be uh, struggling with whatever life circumstances they find themselves in. Lord, let them know that all of this is just temporary, that we hold the faith and the hope in life eternal with you, where there will, where there will be no more pain and no more suffering. God, we raise this prayer to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, friends, remember that this is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Go in peace, y'all. Bye for now.